Hey, how's it going, everybody? So this is the first Francine that I have seen on defense, and I'm pretty sure... Hmm, actually, I'm not sure. Because I think the final uh, node for a rogue, the 20th node, is uh, a crit boost. But I thought her attack can get over 900 with... Um, over 800 defense, but maybe I'm mistaken there. Um, so, deals 225 to the target and nearby enemies. Not super high. I think Drake is like 270, if I remember correctly. Um, she's got this cleanse at the end of the turn for three turns, so that's kind of nice because it continuously cleanses instead of you having to keep charging up and cleansing over and over. So that can make it difficult for your attacker to time out when they want to use a hero that casts ailments because this three turn window, you're kind of exempt from more than one turn of that and then deals extra damage against ice. And it looks like from what I've seen that it's maybe like 50%. So it's quite high. Um, this is a pretty tough looking team and I want to have some blue heroes on here to show what she's capable of so I'm considering switching up what I'm using here but I can't think what I would want it to be I guess I could bring Ariel and Finley or Magni? Uh, maybe Ariel and Vela actually, that attack down could help. There's not enough buffs for Finley to be great. It could bring Cobalt. But I think the, the main power of this team is uh, jackals, so equipping them to do better is the best thing that I can do. So uh, she has the potential to hit two blues here, and we can see what that extra damage will be. Um, hmm. Also with, probably need to swap these two. That's one really good thing about Jabberwock as he makes you think about the positioning of your attack team. Hmm, not a very good start. Oh man. Already, huh? Uh, hmm. Trying to think ahead a little bit too. Okay, not good. I should have moved Gazelle away from the edge as well. Now let's just see if we can set off Francine here. Oh, come on. All right, she's only gonna hit one, so we're not gonna have a good comparison. Oh my God, this is going terribly. We're not gonna have a comparison on how hard she hits without the extra damage, so that 763, pretty impressive. Oh my God.
Okay, so we can heal pretty quickly. Not quickly enough. Shit. Gotta get rid of this guy here. Okay, that should kill him. Oh, that's close. All right, this is going better, so see Francine's hit here in just a second. Let's get rid of, uh, so that was with the dancing, so that kind of skewed our results. Now let's get rid of Onatel here and get a little bit better of an idea what she's capable of. Yeah, let me know if you have used her or uh, played against her and feel like she's super strong. To me, she doesn't seem that strong. Not to say she's bad at all, but she doesn't seem crazy. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And let's see how this cleanse works. So we'll put the ailment on. So obviously that would stay for the entirety of this, my current turn. And then it goes away at the start of my turn. My uh, subsequent turn. Gonna make sure I don't actually lose this on accident. So that's gonna be a couple kills for sure. All right, it's pretty strong. Uh, so yeah, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, we'll take another risk here before killing her. So yeah, the, the cleanse at the beginning of, I guess it's the end of their turn, um, is a pretty cool ability. We haven't seen that before, and to my knowledge, that's the only thing that exists like that in the game, aside from War Equalizer, which is a similar effect, but obviously that's after every three turns have passed, as opposed to this being every turn. So, very useful ability that Damage is not bad on defense. I feel like it wouldn't be too impressive on offense. Um, keep in mind that was with maxed emblems and, uh, you know, with the defense bonus and some pretty squishy yellows. Those two jackals are totally on the soft side in terms of uh, resilience. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.